didn't live so long. No. No. All right, uh, moving on now, talk about autism. Yeah, autism impacts about one and a half million people in the U.S., and it can be difficult for some parents to find a safe place for their special needs child to go out and play. And Don Stevens is joining us now with details of a program that's trying to help these kids and their families out, Don. Yeah, this is pretty cool. You may have heard of the Playland called Pump It Up. Well, that business has paired with the organization Autism Speaks to develop a special night for kids with autism. Jennifer Johnson cherishes seeing her son happy, safe, and comfortable. They were jolted out of their comfort zone two years ago when they found out Parker had autism. We were a little bit nervous and scared. And just didn't know a whole lot about autism. The four-year-old school meets most of his needs, but playtime out of school can be difficult if other kids and parents don't understand his differences. So when they first came to sensory night at Pump It Up... He was really shy, really scared. I think he was overstimulated. Um, but after spending some time and with the help of the staff, they got him engaged, and now he just can't get enough. Pump It Up owner Jenny Mand grew up with a friend with autism and understands the struggles parents have. But I think there's probably limited places that these families can always feel comfortable taking their kids. So Mand has hand-picked staff trained to work with special needs kids. Games approved by Autism Speaks foster motor skills and minimize competitiveness. Also, besides big, safe, inflatable equipment, there's no music, no glow lights, no use of safety whistles or microphones, and no stamps or wristbands, providing a sensory-sensitive environment. You don't have to worry about them picking a slide that's too high at the park or ducking out into the parking lot. Um, I think it's just a great environment for these kids, any kids. It's definitely perfect for little Parker. I think it's great for the family because the kids get an opportunity to socialize with other kids and get out of the house. And the parents can talk about some of their struggles and give advice and share information. Well, this is Autism Awareness Month, and the sensory jump time is at 150 pumped ups all over the nation. If you'd like more information about local events here, just check out myfox9.com and then click on Seen on Fox 9. Talking with Jennifer Parker's mom, one of the things that she really struggled with was taking him to just a regular playground and park, like you know anybody would. Mm -hmm. And either the parents would look at her funny if you know Parker started to kind of get overstimulated, or the kids wouldn't right. really understand why he was different and didn't play the same way and communicate the same way. So the biggest thing that she liked about Sensory Night was the fact that everybody around got it and understood yeah. what, was, what was going on. So it was so, nice. Well, that's good. Uh, and I'm sorry if I missed this. Where is this located? This particular Pump yeah. It Up is in Plymouth. Right. So yeah, go to our website, check it out, and you'll get all the details there. So it's right in the metro. Yeah. That's great. And